Now, what I'm going to do in the interest of science is I'm going to collect a little sample in this clean Clausen pickle jar. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what this oil looks like, you know, the very first oil change um, on this motor. So let's go ahead and get this draining. And of course, probably going to make a little bit of a mess, but it's all good. That's what working on your car is all about, right? All right, so I'm going to let a little bit of that drain out. And then I'm going to sneak in here and grab a sample. And there we go. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the garage. I hope y'all are having a great day. If this is your first time to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And for more of my car care and DIY repair content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did the first oil change in our 2020 Mazda CX-9. It had about 56, 5,700 miles on the oil. And I've got a sample of that oil right here that I collected during that oil change. And I'm going to send off a sample of that oil to Fort Wayne, Indiana, to a company called Blackstone Laboratories to get an engine oil analysis. So really quickly, let me show you what you get in this free package from Blackstone Laboratories. Now, this is not a sponsored ad. This is not an uh, advertisement of any sort for Blackstone. It was just a company that I saw on the internet. Um, had a lot of good reviews on it. And they actually send you out these free test kits for your oil samples and uh, you just fill them out. Well, I'll show you that in here in just a second. You send them back and it actually costs $30 per sample. So I've got one that I'm going to use on our 2020 CX-9 oil. Again, that we just changed a couple weeks ago. And then later on down the road, I'm going to save one of these to change the oil and send off a sample from my 2004 GMC Envoy that has about 306,000 miles on it. All right, so real quick, let's take a look at the package. Again, it comes in this nice plastic container, and it is already pre-labeled. It comes with a little sample container. It comes with a instruction manual here, plastic baggie, and instructions. Um, you know, just filling out your name, number, contact information, sample ID, what you want analyzed, etc. Also in the package it comes with a little oil dry, oil absorbent cloth, and also comes with, what is this, uh, just an engine oil sticker you can put on your windshield. So, let's go ahead and fill this up, get a sample collected, and we will send it off and see what the analysis looks like after about 5,600 miles. We're doing this engine oil analysis on my wife's 2020 Mazda CX-9 with about 5,700 miles on it. Now I know that is not a lot of miles and the engine oil analysis probably isn't going to tell me anything, but in the interest of science and for the benefit of you guys, I wanted to see what the engine oil analysis actually showed with those few miles on the car. Now, the engine oil analysis is just a quick, non-destructive way to gauge the health of an engine so you can identify potential problems before they become bigger problems. Now, as I said, the engine has about 5,700 miles on it. I don't expect any significant wear and tear. Matter of fact, I expect that that oil probably had a lot of life left in it. But again, in the interest of science and my curiosity, we sent that sample off to Blackstone Labs just to see what was in it. 
So it has been about a week or two and we got our engine oil analysis results back from Blackstone Laboratories. Now, just as a disclaimer, this is not a paid advertisement for Blackstone. I just want to say, you know, based on these results and these personalized comments that I got on this engine oil analysis, you know, I'm really pleased with these results. So with that, here are the comments that they specifically wrote out to me. They say, this is the first oil change on your Mazda, which means the sample right here has a lot of new engine material in it. That's where most of the metal and silicone is from. And again, we'll get into those results here in just a minute. The high wear relates to parts breaking in, which seems reasonable to me, while silicone is from sealers used during engine assembly. That also makes sense. It takes several oil changes to wash all this stuff out, but soon your results should look more like universal averages, which they also give a list of on this engine oil analysis output. And uh, so the universal averages which show typical wear for this kind of 2.5 liter turbo motor after about 6,000 miles of use. So with that, what they're seeing is consistent with normal engine break-in, normal engine wear, normal engine assembly lube, and you know these kinds of things on a 6,000 mile engine. Now, the actual results, I'm gonna throw them up on the screen right here, uh, just so they're a little more legible to you guys. And uh, we'll take a look at what they found in the engine, in the motor oil sample, as well as taking a look at some of these universal averages. I'm not going to read through all of these. If you guys want to, go ahead and pause the video and read through some of these, or read through all of these values. So as it shows on the report, I sent this oil sample in. I took the oil sample at 5,670 miles. As I mentioned before, this is the first oil change on the car. And you can see um, on the left-hand side, there are all of the elements that they detected in the motor oil. These are all in parts per million, and they include aluminum, chromium, iron, copper, lead, tin, uh, so on and so forth, including silicone and calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and barium. And you can see some of the highlights here um, are in bold, and those include iron, copper, and silicone. And as we said earlier, if you compare those to the universal averages, those are of course higher than what they would expect. However, those are consistent with new engine break-in and nothing to be concerned with at this time. Now, down at the bottom you'll also see properties of the oil. They measured viscosity, flash point, percentage of fuel, antifreeze, water, and other insolubles in the oil itself. Um, as you can see, there was a trace amount of fuel present, but the value should be less than 2%, so that of course falls well within that range. There was no antifreeze, no water, and 0.2% of insolubles and those values should be less than 0.6, again, within the acceptable ranges. So there you go, guys. There are the results of our engine oil analysis that we got back from Blackstone Laboratories in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now, truth be told, I wasn't really expecting anything other than the universal averages of all of the properties and parameters and uh, constituents found in the motor oil given that it is brand new oil fresh from the factory with only 5,600 miles on it. So why did I do this engine oil analysis on a brand new motor with only 5,600 miles on it? Well, I did this engine oil analysis really for two reasons. One, my curiosity got the better of me and I wanted to send this sample off just to get an idea of what was really in my motor oil and to give you guys the information for your use and general information. Also, I wanted to have a baseline of my engine oil so that way I can continue to run these samples 
at 25, 50, 100,000 miles so I can really see how all of those constituents and the elements in the motor oil are plotting and changing with time to give me an idea of premature motor wear in this Mazda 2.5 liter turbo motor. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it informational. If it was, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I've got a lot of other car care and DIY repair content on the channel that you may find useful. And be sure to stick around because at some point in the near future, I'm gonna send off a sample to Blackstone Laboratories of the oil in my 2004 GMC Envoy that has right at 308,000 miles. So I expect a lot different results than what we saw on this 2020 Mazda CX-9. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, thank you for stopping by the channel. I appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.